I'm going to take you very quickly how to do drawing number one here. Uh, we're going to have to use additive and subtractive methods to do this. So, uh, basically for the measurements, for the dimensions rather, I am just going to count the long sides, the sides of the triangles here. And I have eight going this way, which means it's two inches. I use quarter inch scale. Quarter inch, uh, each triangle is a quarter of an inch. I have eight this way, five tall and five deep. So what I will end up doing is coming over to Fusion 360, starting a new sketch. I'll sketch a, oops, I'll sketch a rectangle on this surface right here, which will be my front plane. I'm going to start on my origin. And you'll notice that the box is, the box on the left is blue, so I'm going to type in 1.25, the tab key, and then I'll type in a 2. And there's my rectangle. I also want to make this have some thickness to it, so I'm going to press the E key for extrude. And click the rectangle. In this instance, I want it to go the other direction, so I'll just move it over there. And I'll type in negative 1.25. So there we have it. There is our, click OK. There we have it. There is our rectangle that represents this shape before we started cutting pieces of it away. Oftentimes in manufacturing, we start with a bigger piece and remove material. That's kind of what I'm going through uh, as I do this subtractive method. The first part was additive, where I added everything and made it second and third and fourth parts will be subtractive so let's get rid of the actual big chunk out here that's not part of this l shape so i need to draw two rectangles one for this section here and one for this section here and they are both according to the triangle measurement system that i'm using here a half of an inch wide So I'll click on this surface, then I'll right click on it and go to create sketch, the menu that pops up. I will press oh, sketch rectangle, two point rectangle is fine. Start in the corner, click and drag. There we go. And I'll draw another rectangle from here all the way to there. Make sure it's the right height. And we're good to go. I can now click E for extrude. I want to do this portion that way. And I want to make sure that I come over here and I change my operation from new body to cut. Distance is going to be all. And I'll click OK. So now I have this uh, L-shaped piece here. Again, I can grab my view cube and sort of move around and take a look at it. Next thing is I want to cut out the, the section here in the I don't know, bottom front front area there. So I'll come over here and take a real quick measurement. And I'll, I'll just look and guesstimate here. It looks like I have uh, a, a square here, a rectangle here, and then a rectangle here. Um, and they are three eighths of an inch. We'll call that three eighths from uh, left to right, and they go whole height. So what I'll do is let me count and see how far back this can goes. One, two, three, four. So it goes back one inch. So now I could do this a couple different ways. I could sketch those two rectangles here and extrude a cut back this way, or I could draw a rectangle on the top and extrude a cut down. Uh, let's do that because it only involves drawing one rectangle and not two rectangles. At this point in time, I don't care how big that is because I'm going to press the D key on my keyboard for dimension. and. I'm going to make that 0.375. I'm going to make this from here to here 
point three seven five. And I'm going to make this last in here Oops. one. Okay. So what should be happening, if I want to get out of my dimension so I can press the escape key, what should have happened is this line right here should have stayed right attached, but it didn't. So now I'm going to come over to my sketch palette. And I'm going to use something called a collinear constraint. We'll talk about constraints more later, but in case this happens, I'm just going to press that, click the line that I want to line up with the one underneath it, and there we go. Collinear means that both of those lines are are lined up now. So I can press E for extrude that. Cut, distance all. I'm just going to give it a quick look here. And, oh, I'm going to change my direction. And okay, good to go. Again, if you mess up on any of these things, you can always go back and edit them. Please do not create brand new sketches on top of other sketches on top of other sketches. So I'm going to do the same thing up here. Oops. With a new rectangle. I'm going to go over here. You can easily, quickly uh, bounce between the internet window and the Fusion 360. That's not an issue. Uh, this looks like it goes down a quarter of an inch, and there's a quarter of an inch on each side. So, press D for dimension. And I'll throw some measurements in here. It's helpful to know a couple of very easy decimal conversions, fractional or decimal conversions. That's good. Oops. And I'm good, so I'll press E for extrude. Select the area I want to cut. Cut it. Change my distance. Change my direction. And press OK. I am now uh, done with this. This is part number one on that on that sheet. It was fairly quick. Uh, some of the measurements might not be 100% accurate, but that's OK for this. Um, this application. So you see I did a uh, new body and then I did I did three cuts. Uh, there's a number of different ways you could do this. Mine's not the best. It's just the way I was thinking of when I made this video.